generation iron app on Google Play and the App Store. I was never going to be a man's physique. Didn't have much of an off season. I like his physique better. I'm always very energetic. I will have to put me as one of the greatest. Mr. Olympia was won by the back. Hey, did, did they throw you off when they find when they when they they first moved the Olympia to December, right? Obviously, it's, it, I'm sure it affected your prep, but I think it just made me better. When the Florida yeah. thing came up, did, did they throw you off, or you were you okay with it? No, I think it just made me better. It gave me more time to improve and to dial in and to focus. So, like, I wasn't stressed at all. The food was easy. I was able to, I wasn't even, I didn't even have to cut carbs. I didn't have to, like, I went low on carbs, but I didn't have to go keto. I never, like, cut my carbs to zero. I was chilling. It's, you don't have to suffer during prep. You just got to know how to cook, really. My girl's Brazilian, so shout out to Brazil. <laughs> Obrigado, gang. Um, the chicken, chicken and okra is fire, bro. I can eat that all day. When she cooks that chicken and okra, it's a wrap. So I'm just eating that, prepping, going to the gym, eating the food, her rice with the garlic. It's easy. It's so easy. The diet is like fun. I, I look forward to those things. It's hard though, because sometimes she has to eat a cheat meal. She competes also. So now she's in prep. She needs a cheat meal. Like I, I can't argue this. So she has to get a pizza. And I have to be there while she eats, eats a pizza or like anything like bread, Panera, you know, she gets bread in her, uh, in her workout plan, in her plan or diet plan. So she gets Panera and I'm, I love Panera. <laughs> I just have Panera right now. <laughs> is, that, is that difficult for you when she's having like a cheap meal? Is that you just, I, you just kind of like, you know, look the other way. No, because I, I, I love being able to have that mind control and, and knowing it's all about being aware. I know, I know I'm wise enough and I've been in this game long enough. I know if I eat that, I'm going to regret that. And it's going to affect my body. It's going to put my mind. I know that I'm aware of that. So it's easy to say, no, no, I'm good. I know it looks good, but I'm straight. I don't want that. I don't want that. Did, did you celebrate after the win? Did you, did you have a meal? Like, did you go to a restaurant or something? Like, how did you celebrate? Yeah. Um, we went to a Brazilian restaurant, um, <laughs> but it's, it wasn't like a great experience because my girl had to go to the hospital after. So nobody knows this. Like, I'm just saying this for the first time. I just got home. I was supposed to come home Monday. We didn't come home till Tuesday because we had to stay in the hospital overnight. Uh, not overnight, almost overnight. Um, on Monday, she had, a, I had to take her, we had food Sunday night, Brazilian steakhouse, right? And then we went went to the mall just to walk around this outdoor mall. We had a what was it empanada? We had something an empanada. For, it was like this Brazilian little shop, and we had some like a snack there. And like that day, bro, she started getting dizzy walking around. She couldn't walk straight. Couldn't walk a straight line. Getting dizzy. The room was spinning. Everything. That it got progressively worse throughout the night. The morning it was even worse. I took her to the hospital. She was not, they wouldn't let me in to stay with her. So I'm like trying to, my flight's that day, bro. She's in the hospital in the morning. My flight's that day at four o'clock, 4 p.m. So I don't know if I'm supposed, and I have a rental car. I got to call the rental company. I have to get an uh, extra room at the hotel, <laughs> change my flight for the tomorrow. I'm doing all these things, trying to pack. I packed everything just in case we had to leave. I'm pack, packing everything. She's in the hospital. I can't go in. She finally says, you can come in. I don't have COVID. They're, they're letting you in. So I went in around two o'clock, two o'clock. And I stayed with her till like seven, eight o'clock. They finally let her out. Everything's normal. We don't know what's wrong. She still is not feeling good. Was it? Huh? Was food poisoning? We don't know, bro. She's still dizzy. Like she's like, her eyes like fidgety. She, they said she has uh, vertigo. So I don't know where that, where that comes from, but we're still dealing with that. Anyway, I was supposed to come on Monday. We got an extra day. I finally got home yesterday, last night. And I went straight to my mom's, picked up my dog, came back home. The house is a mess, bro. This is a week of of competing. The house is a mess. So we cleaned up today, everything. Now we're going to, like, try to live normal. 